Southern California. Welcome to all our SmackDown fans. I'm Michael Cole, here with Taz at ringside in San Diego. Big shout out to all our great fans in the 619 area code here. I love San Diego, baby. No kidding, partner. San Diego couldn't be more excited than SmackDown is. And we couldn't be more excited to be here. You know what, this scene, he spends a lot of time running his mouth. Oh my, there's the submission hold. He's in the driver's seat now. No doubt, Cole, if your opponent lets you lock that in, it usually means that they ain't got much left. I don't use the word evil lightly, but that's all that comes to mind when I look at Mark Henry and the delight he takes in destroying his fellow superstars. Evil's just a word that low lander, low life losers like you, and you're also a two face, used to describe people who do whatever it takes to win. I think Mark Henry would take that as a compliment, even from a goof like you. There's not a superstar in the locker room who can afford to ignore these fans, man. Right about that. What a counter that was! Ladies and gentlemen, we are seeing an incredible display of app. The tag is made. This has been a great match so far. I think it's pretty obvious which way it's going. Really? Are you willing to go out on a limb and actually make a guess then? There's no guesswork involved, Cole. But if you're going to be snippy, I'm just going to keep on... And there's the submission hole. What a deadly maneuver this is. You're not kidding, Cole. Watching these superstars go at it reminds me why I prefer to stay on this side of the announce table. Oh, come on, Cole. You know, you should let me train you. You could be Cruiserweight champion in like a year. Well, no. I've heard stories about the way you train people. You make Marine drill instructors look like pushovers. Duh. They're just training people to go to war. I train him to be WWE Supers. Oh, man, this is just about the last hold you want to find yourself in. I can imagine. Just look at the pressure being applied here. This capacity crowd is making their opinions known tonight. No surprise there, Paul, that WWE fans ain't exactly known for keeping their opinions to themselves. You know, there's no doubt that The Undertaker is one of the most impressive superstars ever to set foot in a WWE ring. But you know what, Cole? You're only as good as your last match. How can you say that, Taz? The dead man has proven himself time and time again. I highly doubt that that would change if he lost this match, which I don't think he's in danger of doing, by the way. Taker's earned his rep, no doubt about that. No one's disputing that. But you gotta know when to call it a day, Cole. There's a fine line between legend and has been. I can't believe we can sit here and even imply that The Undertaker might be a has -been. That can be hazardous to your health. Hey, Cole, don't put words in my mouth. The dead man has been on top of this business for a very long time. And here we go with the submission hole. This could be a pivotal moment in this match. It sure could. There's a lot of pressure being applied in that hole, Cole. Oh, man, these fans are fired up now. They sure are, and you know that's going to have an effect on this match. Nice quick count. Thank you, Captain Obvious. I just think it's unfortunate whenever a superstar decides to cheat to win rather than compete fairly. Without a doubt, Visser is one of the most bizarre superstars ever to set foot in a WWE ring, and these fans eat it. Yeah, from the looks of Big Viss, the fans ain't the only ones eating around here. He's got his opponent in the turnbuckle, and here comes the punches. This is very educational. He's teaching the crowd to count to ten. And by the looks of some of them, ah, who's the hell? That turnbuckle is exactly where you don't want to wind up, and here's the reason why. Yeah, there ain't much that you can do once your opponent gets into that position and starts unloading on you like that. That was a smart tag. I gotta tell you, Cole, I thought I had this thing figured out, but now I got no idea how this is gonna end up. Not in your eye, Taz. 
and I think it's that unpredictability that makes it so exciting. No doubt, Cole. I've seen superstars get a huge advantage over their opponents and still lose the match because they got sloppy. Anything can happen in WWE. An entire match can turn on one or two big moves. And that's why you can't take your eyes off the action for one second. You never know when something huge is going to go down. It's been a long time since I saw a crowd get behind a superstar the way they have for John Cena. Yeah, that's great, Cole. No doubt the WWE fans, they love John Cena. I get that. But this is not... They got the tag. You feel like a real jerk when somebody counters you like that. He anticipated that move perfectly. I'll tell you what right now, I love watching Mark Henry get it done in the ring. There ain't another guy in that locker room who can pick apart an opponent like Mark Henry. You say that like it's a good thing, Taz. Personally, I wish Henry would focus more on winning matches and less on ending careers. Oh, man, there's the tag. He was one step ahead on that one. Wow, listen to that chant, Taz. I'll tell you what, if you've got the crowd on your side or against you, it makes a huge difference, believe me. Looks like he's bringing in his partner. You just don't see action like this every day, Cole. You sure don't, Taz. And we've got the best seats in the house. No doubt, front and center. We couldn't be any closer to this match without being in it. Put tags are the best way to win a match like this, Cole. It's so great seeing these athletes compete here tonight. I had a feeling they were going to wind up against each other sooner or later. There were times when it seemed like it wasn't going to happen, but I can't tell you how glad I am that it did. That's for sure. You know, any time you throw... That tag shows some impressive teamwork. The thing you got to remember about The Undertaker is that 50% of his style, his offense, is about getting inside the head of his opponent. If you can keep your cool and keep your, you know, keep your head together in the ring with him, you're halfway home. But you're not taking into account the power and experience of... Well, we know where this is going on. Meet ring post. And that is a brutal but effective way to pick apart your opponent's arm strength. I think this is just a freak of nature. No doubt about it. Yeah, but that's not something you want to say to the big man's face. No doubt. He'd squash you just as soon as he'd look at you. Man, this match is so good. It's even worth sitting next to you to watch it, Paul. Well, thanks a lot, guys. You know, you're not always my number one choice for a podcast. The world's largest love machine. This Here are your winners. This is